Oh, how are y'all doing this morning? This is me, Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA, and 9.13 a.m. I'm still doing videos in response to comments, and I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep them coming, baby. You know, sometimes you have to be careful what you ask for because you may get it. How about that? But anyway, it's 9.14. This is Friday the 19th, 2016. Central Texas, USA. This is an RV. I full-time RV. Been doing it 23 years. But this is not a video about RVing. In fact, it's a totally different topic. I, well, this talk about variety. We got it today, folks. We got them today. All over the board. All right. Here it is, right here. Interesting question. It says, great info there, Rusty. Thanks. Here's a topic. This is the viewer said this. Viewer says, here's a topic. Why don't you have a pet? Why don't I have a pet? Well, I'll tell you. When I think of a reason. But let me tell you back. Let me give you a little history of my, a brief history sort of, of my history with pets. I grew up on a farm in South Texas, and yes, we had dogs and cats and all kind of stuff. We did. And, uh, and my first pet was a collie dog named Bill. I was about four years old, and I used to go everywhere with old Bill, me and old Bill. And I remember Bill, in my mind, Bill is as, as tall as I am. And they, they had a couple of pictures taken, and he was. He was as tall as I was. So, but we'd go everywhere, me and old Bill. And... Uh, Anyway, uh, later on, a few years later, I don't know how many years later, Bill got run over. On, we had a, we lived out in the country, but there was a caliche road about, oh, a little over, maybe a, a quarter of a mile from our house. And uh, some of the neighbors would really race down that old caliche road. One of them was Miss Burns. It was called Burns Road. And uh, anyway, she ran over Bill, killed him. And that was the end of Bill. And uh, then, later on, I, I was about, uh, I must have been 9 or 10, because I was in Boy Scouts, I'd say 10, and uh, I'm, I, I think it was 10. But anyway, uh, Mother got me a little, uh, what do you call the wiener dogs? The, what do they call? Dachshund. I had a Dachshund. It was a little red Dachshund. And uh, I named him Pal, how creative, P-A-L, Pal. I thought that was pretty well thought out myself. But anyway, being old Pal, he was really cute. I mean, he was just a little dog, you know, about this high. I think he was a miniature. But anyway, uh, I just loved that little puppy. I did. I used to take him everywhere. We went everywhere, 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 me and old Pal. Well, anyway, that summer after school was out, I went to Boy Scout camp which my daddy was a scout master or something. There were several, some, we had a little scout hut and all that stuff. Scouting was a big thing in Kennedy, Texas. <clears throat> so I was a boy scout. And in the summertime, you would go for two weeks to scout camp up at uh, Ingram, Texas, near Kerrville, Texas, in the Texas Hill Country, and uh, stay there and do all kind of scouting things. They had, you could go canoeing and you'd do tying knots and they had rope bridges and all kind of stuff. And uh, you could get a lot of merit badges and so. But anyway, it was two weeks. And while I was there for the two week camp, I made, we had, they had a pottery class thing where you could do pottery, you know, the clay molds and stuff. But anyway, I made, I made a feed bowl, food bowl for my dog, Pal, and I put his name on it, Pal. Okay, and uh, anyway, at the end of the two weeks, we go back home. Anyway, I go in the house, and first first thing out of my f mouth is, where's Pal? And my mother said, well, he's, he's out in the backyard. So anyway, I go out in the backyard. Here, Pal, here, Pal. No dog came. Nobody came. Mm -mm. Didn't see a dog. So anyway, out here, Pal, here, Pal, Pal. Anyway, here comes this dog. Looked like Pal. It was the uh, same type of dog, same size dog. Same color dog, but I knew it wasn't my dog. It wasn't Pal. So anyway, I picked that little dachshund up, and I went in the kitchen, and my mother was just bawling. 
And I thought, God damn, I wonder what happened. And I said, Mother, I said, I I don't know whose dog this is, but it, it ain't mine. This ain't, this ain't pal. Where, where's, where's pal? Oh, Lord. Then, she, then I found out why she was crying, because I was fixing to join her. What happened was, old pal was out in the driveway one day, or the road in front of our house, and mother was leaving to go somewhere, and she backed over pal. And pal, instead of being this long, was now about that long. <laughs> pal became pal. Anyway, so, oh, I just killed me. You know what I mean? Uh, so that, you know, between Bill and pal, I just didn't have a hell of a lot of luck with pets. So, and my poor mother, and, and, you know, she what she did after she ran over that dog, she realized she what it was terrible. So she went back to the people that had the little dachshund for sale, or I don't know, they may have been giving them away back then. And uh, she found one that was as close as she could get to the one that looked like mine. She was hoping I wouldn't even notice the difference, but I did. And anyway, so that's the pal story. Now, back to today. Why don't I have a pet? Well, actually, I, I, I have kind of semi had a few here around here. These old wild cats come up here. And uh, and I had a, one here about two years ago that came around for a while. And uh, anyway, I put a little food out, uh, you know, just stuff I had, maybe a piece of little meat or something. And uh, anyway, he got to where he'd finally get up on the patio, and then after a few weeks, you know, he would come around, he'd rub on my leg and stuff. And anyway, but then that's about all the pet I wanted. And uh, anyway, I don't know if it was just because he was a male and I was a male. Uh, anyway, he, he started getting a little possessive. All right, in other words, I'd put water out for him, but I wouldn't put out food. Uh, if he wanted to hang around, that's fine with me. I didn't have any problem with that, but I just didn't want to feed him because uh, once you start putting food out for animals here, you not only get cats, you get everything else. And, uh, you know, so you can't just put it out and take it. You know, I guess you could. I didn't. But anyway, this old cat, old Tom, I called him Tom. Tom, he was a Tom cat, a male. I called him old Tom. Old Tom uh, came up on the patio one day, and uh, he was rubbing on my leg, and... Uh, and anyway, I just I reached down and he went. He he, he pawed at me, scratched at me, and he, and he made a noise like. And I thought, well, you son of a bitch. Well, you think this is your house now? So anyway, uh, I didn't I didn't hit him or anything. I just I just stopped doing anything for him. And uh, and a few weeks later, he disappeared. He'd come back every now and then. He may come back today for all I know. But as to actually having a, a pet. You know, you have to be willing to take care of them. They're like human beings. Or you have to, you know, take them to the vet up here. You have to get, you know, the shots and all that stuff. My son has two dogs, and I promise you that they're treated better than children. Okay? I mean, he takes them to the parks on the weekend. He takes them out. And he, they, boy, you talk about, he had, one of them, he did the heartworm stuff. Cost about 2000 bucks. You know, I mean, he, he, those dogs are his life. Okay? I'm not that way. I'm not that way. I mean, I don't want to go camping in my Prius with a dog or a cat. No. Now, some people, you, would it be a companion? Yeah, sure. I, th I often think about it. I really do. I often think about it. I do. Uh, will I ever do it? I doubt it. I'm getting a little older now. And, and uh, you know, and, and you know, of course, I know that my son's going to have to go through the heartbreak of the dogs dying eventually. They live about 12 years or whatever they live. And there's, one of them's getting pretty close to that now. And... Uh, you know, that, it'll just break his heart. I mean, there's no way to avoid that. And I, you know, to, you know, maybe it's just to avoid that suffering that I went through with dogs and, or pets when I was a kid. But uh, I just don't want to have a dog in an RV, you know. And, and, you know, if I had a dog, uh, you could leave it outside, but I'd want a small dog, okay? You know, just a small, you know, like a miniature dachshund or something. And that'd be fine if I ever got one. But here, if you had a miniature dachshund outside here, you'd have to watch it because a hawk will get them. Damn sure will. They'll, and cats too. If they if, and they may not be, they may not be able to pick them up. But if you're not around to run them off, they'll kill that dog or that cat and eat what they want, and then leave. They sure will. So 
I don't have a pet for just selfish reasons, I guess. Not really selfish. I just, you know, I just, I'm free. I don't have to, you know, I can leave and go where I want to. And I don't have to worry about anything but me. And right now, that's a pretty heavy load. <laughs> the older I get, the more dumb shit I do. So anyway, that's the pet story. And this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. And uh, we are covering a variety of topics today. I'm telling you. So that's the pet story. Nope, not that. Uh, adios. Carpe diem. Adios. Carpe diem. Adios. Carpe diem. Bye bye. I, and this is it's hard to remember all that shit. <laughs> Damn it.